of a rectangular garden is four feet more than half its width. If the area of the garden is 48 square feet, find its length and its width. Okay, so I'm going to draw a picture. So I've got a garden. We'll call its width a W. And then its length is four feet more than half its width. So that would be one half W plus four. And the area is 48 square feet. And area is length times width. So W times one half W plus four should be 48. Distribute my W. So I have one half W squared plus four W. Subtract the 48 from both sides. And now I have a quadratic equation to solve. And I can solve it either by factoring or the quadratic formula. Uh, this polynomial, uh, quadratic polynomial, does not factor. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula. And um, it might be easier if uh, I don't have any fractions in here. So I think I'm just going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2. That way my 1 half and my 2 cancel. So I just have w squared plus 8w minus 96 equals 0. And then the quadratic formula says that w equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the opposite of b, that would be negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared is 64. Um, minus 4 times 1 times negative 96, that should come out to 448. You can check me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's 448. All over 2. So this is negative 8 plus or minus. The square root of 448 is approximately 21.2. Because this is a real life problem about a garden, uh, it's OK if you round your answer. Um, so I am going to round the square root of 448. OK, so um, negative 8 plus 21.2 is 13.2 divided by 2 is 6.6. .6. Um, and then negative 8 minus 21.2 is going to be a negative. So that one is. Um, because this is representing a length. Doesn't make sense. So the other answer is negative 14.6, but we don't want that one because um, this represents length. So my width is 6.6. .6. Um, we're supposed to find the length and the width. So my length is supposed to be half of the width plus 4. So 1 half of 6.6 .6 is 3.3 .3 plus 4 is 7. .3. Length and width.